morning good morning all in previous class we studied glossary words and antonyms today we are going to learn the poem what is peak is written by christina rossetti what is pink written by christina rossetti first of all can you guess the full form of vibgio can you guess the full form of vibgio v v for violet i for indigo b for blue for green y for yellow o for orange and last r for yes red which is your favorite color which is your favorite color my favorite color is pink i love pink very much then poem this is a color poem that captures the beauty in the natural world here christina rossetti says about our beautiful environment describing each colors color is all around us from a rose and a poppy to the clouds and sky here is a poem what is pink a rose is pink by the fountain's brink what is pink a rose is pink by the fountain's brink here christina asked us what is pink Christina asks us what is pink and the poem describes the rose color is pink which is near fountain's brink the poem describes the rose color is pink which is near by fountain's brink what is brink what is brink means the edge or margin of a steep place or of land bordering water here the pink rose is near by the fountain's extreme edge here the pink rose is near by the fountain's extreme edge what is red a poppy is red in its belly bed what is red a poppy is red in its belly bed poppy is a flower in red color which is belly bent we know bent is an area of ground where plants are grown we know the bent is an area of ground where the plants are grown example a flower is bent so a belly bent a flower bent so a belly bent is just a layer of version so just a layer version in the author's mind just a layer version in the author's mind means poppy is grown barely at the ground area poppy is a flower in red color which is barely bent that means poppy is grown barely at the ground area poppy is grown barely at ground area next sentence what is blue the sky is blue where the clouds flow through what is blue the sky is blue where the clouds flow through here christina beautifully says the sky's color is blue here christina rossetti beautifully says the sky's color is blue when after clouds moves as particles or divided in the sky like clouds are divided to small parts when after this cloud moves as particles or divided in the sky we can see the sky clearly sky color is blue okay next lines what is white a swan is white sailing in the light what is white a swan is white sailing in the light this is describing a swan is sailing with light imagery here describing the swan is sailing with light imagery sailing sailing means 
the motion of a vessel or a water. Sailing means a motion of a vessel or a water. Here the swan is sailing with light imagery. Here the swan is sailing with the light imagery. Imagery means form of fancy. Imagery means form of fancy or appearance. Form of fancy or appearance. That means a sense of purity. That means a sense of purity mixed with the light. That means a sense of purity mixed with the light. Next slide. What is yellow? Pears are yellow. What is yellow? Pears are yellow. Rich and ripe and mellow. What is yellow? Pears are yellow. Rich and ripe and mellow. We know pears are yellow fruit. Here, Christina Rossetti describes pears are in yellow color. Pears are in yellow color which have very good properties and fully grown. Christina Rossetti describes pears are in yellow color which having very good properties and fully grown. The pears are pleasant. The pears are pleasant. Rich means. Rich means having good properties. Rich means having good properties. Ripe means fully grown. Ripe means fully grown. Grow. Rich and ripe are synonyms. Rich and ripe are synonyms. Mellow means pleasant. Mellow means pleasant. Christina describes here the peers are in yellow color, which having very good properties and fully grown. The peers are pleasant. What is green? The grass is green. With small flowers between. What is green? The grass is green. With small flowers between. We know the grass is in green color. The grass is in green color. But here the grass is more beautiful. Because the small flowers are between. Small flowers are between. Is that small flowers are greater. The small flowers are Grew the. What is violet? Clouds are violet in the summer twilight. What is violet? Clouds are violet in the summer twilight. Here, Christina Rossetti describing the beautiful view of cloud. Christina Rossetti describing the beautiful view of cloud. She says the clouds are in violet color. Says the clouds are in violet color in the summer twilight. What is twilight? Twilight means the faint light at the end of the day after the sun has gone down. What is twilight? Twilight means the faint light at the end of the day after the sun has gone down. The summer twilight is a time when the light from the sky appears diffused. It's a time. When the light from the sky appears diffused. At that moment, clouds are in violet color. At that moment, clouds are in violet color. At last, Christina asks us, what is orange? What is orange? Why an orange? Just an orange. What is orange? Why an orange? Just an orange. At last, Christina Rossetti asks us, what is orange? Without any description, we know the fruit orange color is orange. Without any description, we know the fruit's orange color is orange. So, Christina frankly wrote orange is just an orange. Frankly wrote orange is just an orange. Do you like this poem by Christina Rossetti? Do you like this poem? This is very beautiful poem and so easy to learn. This is very beautiful poem and so easy to learn. Read and learn the poem very well. Bye. In spring. What is red? A poppy's red. In its barley bed. 
What is blue? The sky is blue. Where the clouds float through. What is white? A swan is white. Sailing in the light. What is yellow? Pears are yellow. Rich and ripe and mellow. What is green? The grass is green with small flowers between. What is violet? Clouds are violet in the summer twilight. What is orange? Why an orange? Just an orange. Christina Rossetti